What is going on everybody? So today we are bringing a couple of cool little uh, critters to people's aquariums and I wanted to share it with you guys because we have some really cool stuff. And then you guys can take a look at the tanks and uh, get an idea of what I do on service. So I'm here at the first aquarium and we are bringing this little guy. This little bitty golden coral brand banded shrimp. A little better close up of it. Look at that. Looks like he's flexing on us, huh? So this is just a little, little guy. It's just a little baby. And he'll get, he'll probably double this size, maybe triple this size. Uh, but, but I think it'll be a perfect, perfect addition to this tank. So let's go inside and I'll show you guys the, uh, the aquarium. And also show you some of the things I've been dealing with uh, when it comes to uh, servicing this tank. All right, so we are dealing with some brown algae here in the sand. And we got rid of it, but it's come back pretty strong. And although we've made some progress, we got great coralline algae growth. Um, the rocks are pretty much clear. There's some spots with some algae, but nothing um, too worried about. We still are getting some bad brown algae on the sand. And if you look over here, wow, that's, that's pretty bad. So, brought some cleanup crew today. So, we've already seen the little coral banished shrimp. He'll be a great scra scavenger. We have this dub snail, which acts like a Nacera snail, which basically it'll burrow in the sand by, uh, by burrowing it in the sand and kind of making its way through the sand bed. It's gonna keep that sand bed stirred up, make it harder for those uh, bacteria to grow on top of there. We also got a cucumber. So that'll help filter out the sand. And then I got a bunch of pods and beneficial bacteria in this tank so there's a good amount of pods in there so we're going to go ahead and add that as well to the aquarium which is really cool if you look right underneath that an enemy that's in a, a porcelain crab an anemone crab and he's uh on a recent addition in this tank and he basically just camps out by the anemones he has one two three anemones uh, that he kind of hangs out in and he uses them for protection and uh, he just stays close to them and filter feeds and just a really cool uh, symbiotic relationship. All right, so I added the copepods in the aquarium. They are floating around here and hopefully they will settle and they will eat whatever. And there'll be a good little scavenger uh, team. I added the conch over there and I added the snail, which is already climbing on the gla glass, which he should be climbing on the glass. He should be in the sand. So yeah, I'm sure he will in a second. And then I'm going to add the coral banded shrimp right now. So see how this dove snail is just kind of pushing his way through the sand? That's good for aerating that sand. That's good for keeping it stirred up. That's good for keeping things like these little brown diatom uh, bits from collecting on top there. This is why I put him in this tank. This is why I like these snails. See how he's pushing that sand up? That's what we want. That's, a, that's exactly what, what we want from this, uh, from this snail. Look at that. So he'll burrow himself and then when food gets put placed in the tank, he'll unbury himself and he'll search out the food. All right, time for a little guy to go in. And there's nobody in here that will harm him. There's no fish in here that will pick at him. He'll be fine. Gotta find your way out here. Oh, there he goes. Looks like Larry the Lobster, right? So no, no, let's go the other way. Such a pretty shrimp. This is a great little um, invert for people's aquariums. And like I said, it will get much bigger. So you'll have those colors, the red and white, and there's hints of gold in there too, will be more pronounced um, as it gets bigger. But now we got the anemone crab, we got the coral banded shrimp, we got some cool snails in here. There's a lot that's gonna be going on in this tank. We got some a good variety of fish. We got the, we got the uh, cucumber over there. It's gonna be not just the fish that are gonna be cool to look at, but it's also gonna be all these little inverts too. All right, looks like the coral banded shrimp is settling in nicely. Pick this little area underneath the rock where it's gonna hang out. And I wanted to show you, we also have a cleaner shrimp in here, which it should, they should play well together. I don't think it should, should be a problem. Um, but as far as looking at the rest of the tank, the rocks look amazing. We still have this brown algae all down here, which we will take care of and I'll address that in another video. We had a bloom here. Uh, I'm gonna do a water test and we're gonna figure it out. Royal Grandma's coming out to play. 
yellow tang. This tank is really coming along nice. Uh, but to leave it off here, I'm really happy with the way the rocks look. The coralline algae has just gone insane in this tank. And the coral, for the most part, the softies are all doing good. The enemies are all doing good. The tank looks great. Look at all this beautiful coralline algae. I love it. So we just get the sand under control. We're going to be uh, doing all right. All right, back to the, on to the next job. We are here at the customer's house and I got something really cool for them. I'm really excited about this. So they already have a blue throat trigger, a male, but we brought them female blue throat trigger, blue draw trigger, whatever you want to call it right here to pair up with the male. This is going to be such a cool pairing. And by putting this female in there, the male will um, show better. So his blues will get uh, brighter, his fins will get brighter. It'll just be uh, a prettier fish. So by adding this female, that will do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk towards the aquarium and I will show you what the aquarium looks like. All right, so here's the tank. Big old 12 foot tank side to side. This thing is just enormous. And uh, not much coral in here, it's pretty simple. It's got an anemone, a couple of corals, gorgonians and things like that throughout the tank. But um, very uh, large aquarium, perfect for a trigger fish. We have a Smith Blenny, we have a Dottie Back, we have a Stripe Blenny, there's a Blue Hippo Tang hiding out like they do. Um, this is not crazy stocked, this tank. I think there's a, some type of dwarf angel in here, I'm not sure what kind. There's a Tang hiding back there, but I've shown this tank, a little puffer. I've shown this tank before on my channel, and a uh, little trap bass. So it's it's got it's a mixed bag of, of different type of fish, but uh, act, float acclimating right now. I'll do the drip in a second. Now I'm looking for the male trigger. I have not spotted it, but triggers are really good hiders, especially in a giant tank like this. So I'll keep an eye out. Also, going to be adding this linkia, red linkia starfish which is a bit orange and white light, but this will be another, uh, it's more for aesthetic purposes. It's just a really pretty starfish, but it will do some cleaning up in the tank as well. So uh, this will be a fun addition to the tank. Look at the bright color on that. Now these come in, now we have some blue ones, but I felt like for this tank, this color would work better. Um, should do well, it is a big aquarium. So it, I know these are, are known for not lasting very long, but this tank is so gigantic that I think it'll be fine. Little bang guy cardinal fish peeping its head out there. A bicolor angel fish, which is just when I meet that rock. Where are you at, bud? Corals are looking pretty good in this tank, given what's in there. There's an angel fish. All right, here we go. Time to put the trigger fish in. Here we go. Going the wrong way. Got her acclimated. Come on, little girl. Come on. She's putting that thin up to try to trap herself in there. Come on, you want to get out? There we go. Now we got the starfish going in after it's been acclimated. Boom, how pretty. Wow, that's such a pretty starfish. Adds a lot of color to the tank too. All right, here we are, everybody's in. She is already acclimating perfectly to this tank. Already out and oh, and there's the male. There's the male, wow. Oh, that's awesome. So they're definitely acknowledging each other. And we'll keep an eye on that. Hopefully they chill. Yep, there they go, they're together. A little bit of skirmish, hopefully they get along. The older one is the smaller one, and the bigger one is the one we just put in today. So I'm a little caught off guard, but let's look at this trigger fish closely. It looks like a female. I was told there was a male, so um, did we just put two females in here? That would not be good. Um, but when we look closely at it, I notice that if you look closely, like you see the blue right there in the jaw, see that? So it looks like a male to me. I think we're okay. I think this is just a juvenile male. I think we'll be fine. I've been here for a bit now and they seem to be getting along and the male is starting. Every time the female comes around, he starts really flashing that blue jaw. So uh, we'll keep an eye on it. 
it'll be all right. So I think we're okay. I, I, I think that one's just uh, uh, a juvenile male, just not showing. They're getting along now, so we'll keep an eye on it. No big deal. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. But I got to keep going. I got other jobs to do. I'll see you on the next one.